in the defense industry. Within the scope of development of the turboshaft uh, engine, uh, with the further investments, the Turkish uh, aerospace uh, defense industries will be a role model in its field. And in this design center, our engineers will continue with its activities of research and development, and they will work in a more coordinated manner. And at the same time, the Turkish aerospace engineer industries will become one of the most important players, not only in Turkey, but also in globe. We know that there are only a couple of uh, countries who are experts in terms of the development of uh, engines. From its uh, software to its raw materials, a huge ecosystem is needed for the development of engines. And thanks to God, uh, the TEI is not only an uh, engine developer, but it is already a brand which is selling its engines abroad. With our project of turboshaft engine, similar classes of engines will be tested uh, in our country as well, thanks to the establishment of this cent uh, test center. This uh, infrastructure will also serve for higher class uh, engines like the chopper engines. And at the same time, the new uh, class uh, light vehicles, Altai tank, and with our uh, unmanned aerial vehicles and our missiles, uh, all of uh, their engines will be developed by us. If God's willing, we will put those engines into our inventory. We opened our path with the turboshaft engines for our helicopter and we will uh, continue working until we come to the point of developing engines for each one of our vehicles. With, the, uh, with thanks to the endeavor of TUSAŞ and other private companies, we will enable Turkey to develop any kind of engines and we will uh, turn Turkey into a hub for developing those engines and we are getting closer to uh, our uh, targets. Although there are uh, some uh, parties who are trying to undermine the uh, defense uh, industry development of Turkey by making certain allegations on our pallet uh, tank uh, facility in Arifiye. Uh, once again, let me remind you what happened in Arifiye in our tank factory. Before all, this uh, factory with its building, with its uh, location, with its equipment. It is a facility with a value of 250 million dollars only. The ones who claim that this uh, tank factory equals to 20 billion dollars most probably has never seen a factory in their lives or they have no idea what 20 billion dollars is. So they are uh, accusing us uh, with ungrounded allegations. And at the end of the day, we are not selling this factory. It is not a privatization. It is uh, called the uh, lease for operation. The ownership of this factory is uh, at the hands of our Ministry of Defense and we delegated the operation of this factory for uh, BMC which is a Turkish company so we didn't sell this factory to the uh, Qatar uh, companies. During its uh, delegation and after the delegation by the way there are no limitations and restrictions in terms of the uh, personal rights of the workers in the factory, let alone we improve them. BMC, of course, cooperates and establishes partnerships with uh, many countries, including but not limited to Qatar. Uh, together with the Germans, the Americans and uh, the British, we have cooperated so far and at the same time we are cooperated with the investors uh, from uh, the Qataris uh, in the same manner. The Hostility towards the investment which is being shown after the 10% of investments to the Istanbul Stock Exchange has also been shown 
in the Operation Elise of Arifiet tank factory. We were in need of modernization in Arifiet tank factory and uh, $50 million has been put as a prerequisite for the Operation Lease in the Arifiet tank factory, which was a need for that building. In addition to that, all maintenance activities will be carried out uh, in this building. This operation lease activity has been uh, brought forward to the discretion of the jurisprudence and judiciary, and the uh, Supreme Court has taken a verdict in favor of the administration. Of course, we are aware of the fact that why those attacks are being targeted towards our army and uh, we know that there uh, are the ones who have been using the Turkish army as a shield for protecting their one-man fascism and they cannot show any tolerance to this army which is the hero of our nation. So. The Turkish army, which uh, has been cleansed by the Fethullah terrorist organization members and also the uh, coup uh, plotters, and uh, the uh, ones who are feeling uncomfortable with the victories of the uh, Turkish army abroad, uh, they will receive their messages from our nation. With our uh, flamboyant and triumphant army, we will continue constructing strong uh, Turkey. There are ones who have no idea what is a project, what is production, and what is uh, being like working for our nation. They have the ones who have no idea what is the operational lease. We will never allow them to. Uh, set barriers in front of the development of Turkey. Veci Turkus, Nuri Demira, uh, Nuri uh, Kirligil, they are the ones who are developing those projects, uh, have been uh, developing those projects in the past. So the local uh, car production project, Devrim, uh, has come to an unfortunate end, and we will never allow that to happen again. Kamil Öcman and uh, this uh, deceased uh, person has prepared the project in Eskişehir uh, factories. The uh, crankshafts have been prepared and have been uh, developed uh, with only the national sources. And the first prototype of this engine has been presented in the Izmir exhibition in 1946. And after the exhibition, the Minister of Transportation of the single party CHP government, Shukri Kochak, immediately goes to the factory where the engine is being produced. Kamil Kochman and his team, uh, with a great joy, tried to explain the engine to him. And Shukri Kochak uh, said to them, How dare you can develop an, an engine in here? And he shuts down the factory and left the area. So, in a nutshell, this is the first diesel engine development story of Turkey, which comes to a tragic end. Hopefully, these uh, types of engine projects, which are being managed by the Turkish aerospace engine industries, will be materialized and we will allow Turkey to reach to its their targets. Dear friends, without having a strong and independent uh, defense industry in the geography that we live in, we cannot look forward with confidence. We observe that once again. The conventional warfare is changing its shape as a result result we are in need of a defense industry which will serve for the needs of today and future and that's why we have been working for the last 18 years from uh, ships to the unmanned aerial vehicles and defense systems we have uh, oriented our industry forward with our incentives and investments
and we try to develop our uh, skill set in the defense industry, but we also are aware of the fact that we should get rid of our independence uh, abroad in the defense industry. That's why we supported the investments and studies in the critical areas. That's why from the foundations to the main contractors, all the way to the universities and technoparks and R&D centers, we established a huge and comprehensive ecosystem. And we wanted to make use of not only our national labor source, but we also would like to attract the uh, international labor force and uh, mines as well. That's why Turkey is one of the top uh, 10 countries with more than 125,000 international students. And of course, in order to be assigned in critical projects, hundreds of researchers have been brought to our country. With uh, activities like TechnoFest and uh, similars, we would like to uh, unleash the potential of our students and our uh, children by creating such kind of platforms. With our test and do workshops, we would like to trigger the potential of our students towards the technology. In uh, each field of defense industry, we have given our best support to our entrepreneurs who are developing and research researching. And we would like to make use of our limited resources in an efficient and just manner. From the design and to the finance of those projects, we try our best in order to establish the efficiency, but we are in need of a greater coordination. Our presidency of the defense industries and with its executive committee, we are planning to establish a greater coordination system. On the other hand, we are allocating great importance to the defense industry with our economic policies and we are focusing for mid and long term targets. And we, for a structural transformation uh, uh, in a result oriented uh, manner in the defense industry, we have uh, initiated our uh, approach for reducing the dependence of Turkey for the intermediate products, at the same time enabling Turkey to be competitively advantageous in those fields. In order to reach to 2023 targets of Turkey and in order to materialize the 2053 uh, uh, targets and also in order to make Turkey one of the top 10 economies, we will work day and night. With these feelings in my heart, once again, I wish this research center and the uh, national turboshaft helicopter engine be auspicious for our nation and for our defense industry. Once again, I'd like to thank uh, anyone who contributed to the de development of this engine, starting from pres presidency of defense industries uh, to the uh, Turkish aerospace industries and our engineers. I hope that after the test uh, studies will be proven successful, we will see our engine in the air. And without further ado, I'd like to extend my gratitude to each one of you. And we will right now watch the test of TSE-1400. Thank you. 